There's only one way to really find out what makes the Rad Rover tick, and that's to take it apart. Welcome to Velo Mobile Shop. My name is Kyle Chittock, and I own an e-bike store. I like to make electric bikes better. So first, we're going to take this 48 volt 750 watt motor, at least that's what it says on the case, pull it off the bike, pull the motor actually out of the case and see what is inside. If you have any rubber caps, you'll want to remove those. And then we have a nut right there we can loosen up. And the same on the other side. We'll have to take a couple of these zip ties off and then we'll unplug the motor cable. One side loosened up. Now that we have everything loosened up on both sides, we can move our kickstand out of the way, derailleur out of the way, and that wheel will pull straight up and out. And if you've done any motor upgrades on other bikes, you'll be familiar with this process. But basically all we need to do is remove these Phillips head screws around this side of the motor case and then the entire motor assembly and the freewheel will slide straight out. Now what I'm going to show you next is probably part of the reason we see the performance the way it is in the Rad Rover and it has caused a little bit of a stir online. I haven't seen a perfectly good answer in my opinion as to why this motor is the way it is. So here is the 750 Bafang hub motor on the Rad Rover. Nothing terribly unusual until we compare it to a Bafang 500 watt motor and it looks kind of the same. Here is the 750 Bafang from the Rad Rover again and here is a 350 watt Bafang. So at this point we might just think maybe they all use the same magnets and windings and that's why they're all similar on the inside. But let's compare to one more. So I also use the Bafang 750 watt motor on my own brand of bikes and here it is. Now we put this next to the Rad Rover's Bafang 750 motor and we see a huge difference. You can see the motor case is significantly longer, the magnets are larger, there's more wire. This is definitely a heavier duty motor. So why is this a 750 and this a 750? In theory, both of these can draw 750 watts but so could the 350 watt motor I showed you a minute ago. Now I have run the Bafang 350 hub motor at over 1200 watts before, so there's a lot of power that can go through that, so you should be able to do the same with this. But I would say that the performance at 1200 watts with this motor, for example, or this motor is not gonna be the same. I would also argue that the performance on this motor at 750 watts is not going to match the performance of this one. And that's why I've done some side-by-side -side tests with various bikes to see what the difference actually is. Now, I'm not gonna get to it in this video, but I am having some parts made for the Rad Rover so we can change this motor and the controller that comes on the Rad bike to this motor and a more powerful controller. And then, once we have those results, we can compare them to the stock bike. Now, we could limit the power so it's somewhere around 750 watts after the upgrade. So we could pull the same amount of power and see if there's any difference in acceleration. The Rad Rover is up first for an acceleration test. I put markers at 25, 50, and 75 feet. After several runs, the Rad Rover averaged 3.3 seconds to 25 feet, 4.7 seconds to 50 feet, and 5.7 seconds to 75 feet. Next, I compare to several other bikes with different motor setups to see how fast or slow this would be. Now, just for fun, I've thrown in the Bafang BB SHD mid-drive to see how a higher performance motor compares. It does have a clear power advantage at over 1400 watts, and that shows 
as it is 0.8 seconds faster to the 25 foot mark and a full second faster to both the 50 and 75 foot marks. And after this we get the real 750 Bafang motor with a 25 amp controller. Now this is pushing 1200 watts, but I was surprised by the acceleration because it actually matches the BBSHD. This is the power level I feel the Rad Rover could be at if you changed out the motor and the controller. So once again, it matches the acceleration of the BBSHD. That doesn't quite tell the whole story, however, as the mid-drive motor, if you shift through the gears, will have better performance. It's going to have anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour more on the top end than the hub motor would. Tune now to get a better comparison to the stock Rad Rover, we tune the controller down to about 600 watts, and surprisingly, the bike is still faster by 0.4 seconds to 25 feet to 50 feet, and it's 0.2 seconds faster to 75 feet. So it definitely slows down towards the end at 600 watts, but once again, we're running less power, but we're running the larger 750 motor. I did several other tests after this by tuning the power of the bike up and down with the 750 watt motor. At 800 watts, for example, it was significantly faster than the Rad Rover, but slower than the mid-drive and of course slower than the 1200 watt setting. I also tested a bike with the Bafang 350 watt motor, which looks physically the same as the Rad Rover 750 watt motor, and it was significantly slower. So the Rad Rover is most definitely faster than a 350 watt Bafang motor. However, because the battery cradles were the same, I did remove the Rad Rover's 48 volt battery and drop it onto the normally 36 volt 350 watt bike and surprisingly the 350 watt motor bike performed better to 25 feet and, and 50 feet but it was slower to 75 feet so it is somewhat comparable if running a similar wattage on flat ground However, on a small hill next to the test area, the 750 watt Rad Rover bike was noticeably faster up the hill. So those are the results so far. This is just the first part of this video. Once we get some new parts in to put on the Rad Rover that are tailor made for that bike, then we'll do some more tests and see how it stacks up. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, if you want to make sure that you see the next Rad Rover video, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you see notifications when new videos come out. And I'll make sure to put some other cool video like maybe right here.